With us now are Ben Best and Neil Van Dree. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you, Richard. Ben, good to see you. We live in an interesting world, and I'd like to begin with you, Ben, if I may say this. So many beliefs, so much science, so much progress in the world. This is certainly a very provocative and interesting subject. Tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Well, my name is Ben Best. Uh, <clears throat> as far as who I am, I, I did a Zen workshop on that at one time. Uh, I, I don't want to go into that, but I can say something about my education and career. I, I was a pharmacist, educated as a pharmacist, and uh, uh, also got degrees in computing science and business. And so I worked in, as a pharmacist and then worked as a, a, um, a computer programmer for a bank for 15 years. After that, I worked as uh, president of the Cryonics Institute for nine years. So I think my work career shows a lot about who I am and what, what I'm devoted to, namely life extension. Why do you think it's possible for there to be a perpetual life? Well, I don't believe in perpetual life. <coughs> uh, I, I, I do believe it could be possible to live for thousands of years. So that's, that's, that's my objective. And um, uh, the first question would be, why would I want to live thousands of years? To me, that question is very much like, uh, uh, what, why do you want to live at all? And uh, so I can imagine if you put a, held a gun to somebody's uh, head and said, uh, why do you want to live? Uh, imagine what kind of answers they might give. Uh, living thousands of years is a bit different, though, uh, because uh, I, I am, do want to be living in, uh, expect to be living in youth and good health for that whole period. And um, s secondly, I don't think I'd ever get bored. Uh, and uh, thirdly, I think the future is going to be a, a lot, uh, con to continue to get better. I think there's going to be lots of wealth and and, uh, and technology, and, and I think people are actually going to continue getting kinder and gentler. Uh, I have a, uh, a website, benbest.com, on which I answer the question, uh, why life extension? These are very positive thoughts, Ben. I'd like to ask you, Neil, what are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, I would love to live to be thousands of years old and intend to do so. I have great faith in humanity to come together and, uh, and solve this question, this question of ending aging, reversing aging, if you will, and uh, defeating death. I think that, uh, I certainly hope we'll see it in our, our lifetime, Ben. Um, obviously, there are other options and other uh, strategies, uh, cryopreservation being one of those. But I think we may be able to see that in our lifetime. I think that uh, should society decide that living healthy, long, radically extended lives is something worth working on, then we're going to succeed there. Um, again, this is something that I have faith in. It's a hard thing to explain why, um, why I have that, but uh, essentially, similar to what I think Ben was saying, um, why does anyone want to live to be 100 or 110 or 120 for the same reason I would like to live to be 150 or 200 or 300 or thousands of years old, as, 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 as many years as we can possibly get with healthy living. We're talking about extending life radically with health, with healthy living. Imagine being 300 years old, but having the body of a 30-year-old. That's what we're all about. That's what we're looking for. And here at the Church of Perpetual Life, I think that that's what we're encouraging the, uh, the discussions about. Back to you, Ben. Why do you believe rejuvenation is possible? Um, <clears throat> I've, uh, I've uh, got a, a page on my website called Mechanisms of Aging, which if you use that phrase in Google, uh, uh, it'll come up as the top uh, link. And um, I've, I've looked carefully, and I believe aging is, is damage on a molecular level, and I believe damage can be repaired. So, uh, and I have a high, high, uh, belief and hope in the, in the repair capabilities of future technology. So I think uh, any, any aging damage can be repaired and we can be rejuvenated. But I, I don't think it's going to even be, be uh, <clears throat> that complicated because I believe that uh, stem cells and artificial organs uh, are going to uh, come um, quicker than molecular repair. And that if we can replace each organ in our body as it becomes uh, uh, malfunctional or, or too old or dysfunctional, 
with uh, cells and tissues, stem cells, artificial organs. We can uh, basically re keep our cells <coughs> uh, youthful and healthful uh, even without the molecular repair. Now, the, the brain is another story. We won't be able to be, use an artificial brain, of course, uh, or a, a, a stem cell built brain. So for the brain, uh, molecular repair will be necessary, but I believe that will be possible. Well, that's a fascinating concept, absolutely fascinating. Neil, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm, I'm right in line with what Ben is saying. There is one divergence I would have, though, Ben. Uh, there is a group called the Singularity Group, uh, the Artificial Intelligence Group, rather, excuse me. The uh, a Artificial Intelligence Group would see that we put our brain and our memories and our thoughts into a machine. Now, I don't prefer that method of uh, life extension, but here at the Church of Perpetual Life, we're going to be open to all concepts, all possibilities. We'll not close any doors to any possible uh, futures for the, the uh, future of the human race. Um, but I, I, what I see and what I expect and hope to uh, accomplish is right in line with what Ben has to say. The, the replacement of the organs is something that the, uh, the researchers all across the world are working on right now. There's some great things that just came out. I don't know if you noticed, Ben, just in the past couple of weeks that are very exciting. Uh, stem cell research and all of these things that Ben is talking about. Uh, he's a very wise guy, a uh, wise man, I don't mean to call you a wise guy. <laughs> he's uh, spent his whole life really working on these things and, and studying these things and meeting those researchers and talking about these things at conventions and all sorts of uh, gatherings of uh, very intelligent people. Uh, he's one of those and um, he brings a, a great uh, amount of wisdom here to the Church of uh, Perpetual Life. And what he has to say, I, uh, I, uh, w w when Ben speaks, I listen. He's got uh, a great deal to offer to, uh, to this movement, which is the radical extension of healthy living. All sounds so much like science fiction that's more and more becoming scientific fact. And if we look back decades, uh, all of the achievements in technology, medical technology and so forth, would support your notions and concepts here. I'd like to thank you both very much for being with us today. Thank you, we have some more interviews to do. We'll conduct them and of course have you back on the program.